in the world. The tensions between the two sides extend from the sea over onto the land, into the DMZ. It's the most militarized demilitarized zone in the world, and it's where the war between North and South Korea has been frozen for 70 years. The Korean Peninsula is still basically split along Cold War lines. How did we get here? Well, at the end of World War II, the Korean Peninsula was liberated from Japanese occupation. The winners of the war, the Soviet Union and the United States, decided that they would each occupy half of the peninsula. They agreed on this latitude as the dividing line. In 1950, North Korean troops invaded the South and the South pushed back. It was a brutal war. At least two and a half million people were killed. The North was backed by the Soviet Union and later also by China both communist states. The South was backed by UN troops, led by the US. The Cold War superpowers never really went away. In 1953, an armistice agreement was signed, freezing the front line of the war roughly back along the same line again. It ended the fighting and created the buffer zone we already saw, the DMZ. But it left many things unresolved like the maritime border. That wasn't in the agreement. The UN, led by the US, drew that later without actually asking North Korea's permission. It wasn't a peace treaty, so the war between North and South Korea never officially ended. The same family that launched the war is still in charge now. The Kim family is currently the only communist dynasty. Kim Jong-un rules just like his father and grandfather before him, with a totalitarian cult of personality and an iron fist, using intimidation and violence. North Koreans don't have access to the outside world. Leaving the country is illegal without permission. Then came the pandemic. North Korea had some of the strictest border controls in the world. Kim started building hundreds of kilometers of fencing and walls along North Korea's border with Russia and China. Satellite images show that a double fence pops up after the pandemic shutdown. North Korea even introduced a shoot-to-kill order along the Chinese border. So Kim has pretty much sealed off his country and locked in his people. But he is open for business with his authoritarian neighbors. North Korea shares a 1,400 kilometers long border with China. Without its northern neighbor, the country wouldn't survive. Almost all of its very limited trade happens with China. Which brings us to Rasan, a North Korean